Hello, welcome. This is Berdi. Welcome to a new lesson in Houdini. Today we will continue our journey in the uh, series uh, or directing ocean in Houdini. Today we will make the white water uh, setup in the scene. So let's get started. So let's continue, guys. Now we need to make the uh, white water setup after we. Uh, finish all the necessary uh, modification and change on the uh, flip tank okay and the ocean surface material so now it's time to make the white water so let's make the white water setup as usual from uh, ocean or particle both are the same white water uh, yep select the flip object and hit enter okay okay ready it ah but it's in 60 frames so it will calculate all the 60 frame as we can see from two to six so I will simply um, hit skip and go at the beginning So as we can see now we have the uh, white water setup. We are in the white water simulation. Let's go back. Let's get first the white water. Uh, here is the three white water. Let's hit C to have the color palette. Let's color this one with dark purple and this other two import uh, source with maybe other uh, like this light purple just to be easy to recognize them okay this is first second we need to go inside the white water source so let's saw white water source here just for organization yeah now let's now let's check the uh, white water that we have Let's hit play to see what we have so far. It doesn't give us uh, much now because um, all the splash will happen uh, later in uh, in the next frame. So we need to go to maybe 60 frame or something to see the um, effect of the white water sourcing. So I will hit skip. As we can see here we have something but we cannot see it clearly we have something like a cloud it's a volume of course because a white water source take the particle and create a new volume field called emit which in the white water simulation or white water dot network it create the white water particle from this volume emit okay so let's see uh, let's uh, check the visualization let's see what we have so far uh, as we can see now we have like uh, the splash okay maybe we need to see it in frame 60 to see if there are any uh, particle that uh, hit the box so maybe 60 so I will make just a, a fast cache maybe I'll make it only for frame uh, 50 come on come on come on so let's type 50 only let's save to disk Let's close this. So let's make load for disk reload geometry. Now we can easily see the uh, white water without having to wait too much to caching. Hopefully, uh, still reading. I don't know why it's, but still reading. No problem. Come on. 
so as we can see here here is the our uh, simulation I don't know why the computer suddenly started to becoming slow and this thing but anyway I think it looks good nothing uh, collide with a uh, white uh, with a um, flat tank border or the white source border okay so looks good for me now it's time to, to decide it uh, if we have if we want all this curvature acceleration vorticity in our white water source I think it will be okay I don't see any uh, need to change the default here of course we can change it I uh, I explain it in the C uh, monster all this parameter all this stuff I'm not going to explain it here again so we will keep it as it is okay and let's uh, now let's uh, render from let's make it back again to 150 frame and let's cache it from uh, 1 to 150 by simply revert to default and tell him to save to disk and I will back to you after it finish I will be back I'm back baby hasta la vista la baby <laughs> okay so let's <laughs> anyway so let's continue now our mission to save humanity from the machines and terminators and shit like this okay so let's continue now uh, we finished the white water source now let's get inside the white water simulation uh, so now what we really need to do is to control um, the velocity of the um, particle in the white water and also uh, to make the adjustment in the foam okay of course I uh, explain all this parameter in the C monitor so I don't have to explain it again but maybe we can make some widget just to see the different without getting uh, deeper because we already did before okay okay so first of all um, let's see what we got here we have the volume source import volume okay at state attribute we need the at state attribute to have later the three comp uh, the three components for the white water, the spray, the um, foam, and the bubble in the import white water, right? So we need this, uh, we need to check it to, to have this three attribute later to be able to separate them. Uh, uh, yeah, this one should be at least half of this uh, one. Yani this is 0.5 uh, this must be at least 0.1 or 0.25 at least so this must be at least half of this number so uh, when we uh, when we uh, reduce this number we will have more uh, voxel that means we will have more uh, particle in every voxel okay form location maybe you can make it something like two something like this uh -huh. uh, emission amount I'm not going to change it velocity offset if you if you want to move a little bit the uh, velocity of the 
uh, white water but uh, in fact I, I don't want to do that because we will render uh, everyone by its own render path velocity multiplier if we want to increase the velocity okay it's same as we we type the velocity in this number multiplying by this number okay maximum intentional speed uh, this is like intentional speed maximum life is spam let's make it four advanced uh, bubble foam spray looks okay to me I, uh, if we want to uh, reduce any number of this uh, I mean any amount uh, reduce the amount of bubble or foam or spray you have to increase this number like for example if you if we if you want less bubble you can increase this number by 10 for example so it will reduce uh, the bubble not increase it but reduce it okay I don't want to do that I will leave it as as it is velocity noise if you want to add uh, uh, noise in the velocity I don't want to do that let's go to the collision swap we need the collision swap here uh, to collide with the uh, particle right let's go back let's see where it is I think it's in the uh, monster self this I think VDB and also we need uh, the field name called collision or well, simply if I can copy it collision okay okay let's go back let's get inside here again let's choose the monster it's out VDB also you have to name it here collision yeah. now it will read the collision and of course as we know um, white water solver has its own forces inside it the gravity and bouncy so we don't have to add any gravity force or anything okay now let's uh, move to the foam part okay uh, maybe it's time to make some widget so I think I explained all this in the uh, see monster as I said earlier so I don't have to repeat it again but just I will do some modification maybe we need more neighborhood neighborhood size neighborhood maximum to give us more uh, clumping uh, constraint stiffness maybe let's make it to two uh, erosion <coughs> if we want to add erosion maybe let's make it to 0.5 to 0.5 let's make it to 0.8 replants let's make it smaller to bigger uh, maybe from point, uh, 0.2 and this is a strange range okay and if we like to have a life range also in the biggest and smallest size range for the Replants. We can add it in here, but it's not really important. And we have advanced also. If we want to radius distribution, uh, so most the replants will work in this amount of 0.2. It will be uh, complete um, force. Then it will be. Uh, less in let's say 0.5 the half between 0.2 and 0.9 then at the end 0.9 it will work again back so most of the uh, size range we will have from 0 we will have 0.2 and 0.9 but 0.2 will be uh, more 
Okay. If you don't want that, let's uh, uncheck it. Adhesion, of course, we need the adhesion. Enable depth control, upper surface. Okay, oh, looks looks good to me. As I said earlier, we did many uh, tests for this and widget in the uh, C monitor, so we don't have to really do much more inside it. Okay. So that was the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any question, please type it in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to put like on the video and subscribe the channel. And if you can, share it with your friends. And I believe you can. Okay. Uh, last but not least, if you want to support us, you will find below the video links on Patreon and Gumroad. And of course, we appreciate your support. Thank you and see you in the next lesson. Have a good day.